for recovery in this case, from what you know now? Yeah, well, I, you know, I guess it could go one of two ways. Um, on the one hand, the fact that the judge is saying that uh, pensions are on the table means that uh, the burden will be shared by a larger group of creditors. And that would, you know, be a favorable outcome for creditors and that there, there are others besides themselves that will uh, potentially take some haircuts. But on the flip side, the fact that the judge has said that uh, federal law trumps state law, uh, there's certainly uh, a good possibility that he could reach the same decision with respect to how GO bonds are um, treated in bankruptcy, that the state protections for GO bonds may be, uh, may be trumped by federal bankruptcy law. And so there, it, it, you know, it could be that GO bonds are considered unsecured, as the emergency manager proposed originally and if so um, you know there there will likely be some um, some haircuts for for bondholders as well and that potentially could have ripple effects across the muni bond market well it could um, certainly in Michigan um, although important to reflect on the fact that uh, the vast majority of municipalities are actually quite financially sound so Detroit is an unusual case in just how distressed it is, there are other distressed cities. And I think for those cases, um, it could be something that is precedent setting.